Man, we're getting late start. 3.20 a.m. Just going to see if we can catch a crop out here in this gale force winds. And uh, we've got a, about three or four hours of seeding. Let's see if we can do it. We're going to get them. <laughs> Let's go get them. Today we're casting eight ounce jigs. Trying out these new Okuma rods and uh, got a new reel. Got a new uh, president there, Phillips fishing with. Slabber. Get him up here. <laughs> First crop I caught on a dang jig in how many years? Look at there, it fell right out. Probably. Oh. Well, probably at least 10, 15 years. <laughs> Let me hit that box back here. See if I can hit it. All net. Oh, you see what I went to do? I'm gonna I give you a minute. Yeah, I went. I wrapped around. And we'll get oh, that you got that minute on there already. Watch this. Uh, Phillips, the minnow fisherman, trying to get him on these jigs. It ain't that big? But it's crappy. Nice one, though. Come here, baby. Trying a new jig out today. Kai Tech. Well, miss my miss my miss my goal back here. Get down in there where they can see it. Well, I've had six dollars and fifty cents worth of fun off him eight pack of Kai Tech grubs so far. There's one thing you need to write head for them. They soft baits. They're very soft. Really close for that. It's got a fish eye wings. Got a pair on it. Is that going down? Let me throw that black and blue one on time. Just see what they do. First cast on the black and blue. First cast on the black and blue. That's a nice crappie, too. They can't handle that black and blue. How many casts is that with that natural color? Tennessee Shad, Kai Tech. Four or five. Four or five casts dragging through a hundred crappie. Throw that black and blue on them one time. Well, you know what that means, don't you? Yeah, give me that black and blue. Uh oh. We gotta, we gotta open up the basket. Huh? It's a black and blue grill, right on Down that crack. Alright, uh, now I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change head and use a silver head. I'm still using this black and blue. I 
I've been using a red head, but I'm gonna use a silver this time. I like silver too sometimes. The water's clear right now too. Now let's see what the silver head is. Let's see if it's a jig color or or the head color. That one there chased it. 30 feet to grab it. Look at them crappie piled up right there. 40, 45 feet out. Get a little bit closer to them. All right, let me throw right there in that. 40 feet. One coming, one coming. There he is. Silverhead bit too, didn't it? Yep. Oh, now good crop. All right, you don't have to pick that rod up, ain't you? <laughs> I'm gonna let you catch up with me anyway. All right, let's grab one more out of there, and then I'm gonna let you video yourself. Sockerlay. Can't get them all, can you? Check your jig. They don't like hitting if it's not pulled all the way up. Pulled it all the way to the boat before you grabbed it. Oh, missed one. Missed one. What you got? I'm talking about a slobber, boy. What is that? Was that another slobber? Socky lace. Socky we look, lace. We're looking at that jig now. Mm, pretty good one. Mm -hmm. Keeper. Put the old red head back on there. I couldn't sit there and watch it. Bought two new rods. They're uh, Okumas. I pronounced that Salillo. I don't know how you do it, but I'm going to call it. Uh, Salilo. It's C-E-L-I-L-O. These rods are uh, six foot six, line weight two to six pounds, lure weight 30 second to three eighths. So this is a six foot six rod. They're really affordable rods. $29.99 at Simmons Sporting Goods. I bought two of them, but I also went ahead and bought a new Fluger President. Um, it's a X, XT30, I think is what it is. It says C30 on it, but the box has got an XT30. Yeah, XT. So, uh, but that's a really good reel if y'all looking for a good crappie jig reel. And uh, like I said, I got two of these rods. And uh, we're catching crappie. And right there's some structure with a bunch of crappie on it. We're using, uh, today we're using a black and blue chartreuse. We're just using a live scope just to show us where the crappie are and then we cast on it. I'm going to pull this jig up here and uh, let you see it. If you watch any of my videos, you'll know it's probably my most favorite jig. That body there is uh, made by Kalen. You can also get it in other brands, Big Bites and any other brand. But it's a black and blue chartreuse tail. I'm fishing with a wire hook today, eighth ounce red head. I also got a guy right now working on some custom baits for me, and uh, I'll fill y'all in on that. Still offering those guide trips. I got uh, several booked already, and uh, a lot in the future. So uh, if you get ready for a guide trip, 
either me or me and my brother Philip. We don't mind. We'll go with your boat, our boat, whatever you want to do. Uh, we'll teach you some electronic tips that we've learned over the years. Uh, we can show you how to run a live scope. Show you how to crappie fish with minnows. We can use minnows and corks. We can use slip corks. We can tight line. We can snipe. We can do any anything you want to do to catch crappie legal. So, uh, yeah, just hit, hit me up. My email is adrianwfarley at gmail.com. A-D-R-I-A-N-W-F-A-R-L-E-Y at gmail.com. You got one? No, no. Uh, we can't uh, catch them legal. We'll, we'll get some dynamite. Some, yeah, we're helping them use a little bit of dynamite. <laughs> 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 Y'all know that's a joke, but we have fun. We make it a fun trip. That's what it's about. We might not catch a lemon or crappie every day, but if a crappie bite, we we'll catch fun. him. Huh? So we have fun. Oh, yeah. Let's go catch another crappie. Oh, I see it up here now. I'm going to sit down on top of that stuff. There he is. There he is. Come here, Sockalay. Come here, Sockalay. You gonna end up having clean crappie again, I see. Yep. He looks like it. Got him. Well, he might have went to bite. Come here, Sockie Lee. Where are you, little Sockie Lee? Go grow bigger. That was two back to back. Let's see if we can get three. There my jig is. Got a fish chasing it. And he don't want it. Right there on top of that tree. 25 feet out. 24 feet out. You staying on him? Yeah. Here he comes. Here he comes. Grab it, boy. Grab it. He's still chasing it. And he come off of it. The other one was up there, he went down. But it just cause you see them don't mean they bite. He stayed there though. Felt like a good one. Better than them other ones we was catching. A slab, baby. Pull that slab up here. Come here, big mama. Come here, big mama. Slab action. Strip the net. Two points for two pounds. Oh yeah, come here, slabber. Hang on, hang on. Don't hit, the, don't hit the motor. Oh, look at that drag. That's what I'm talking about, baby, right there. Come here, I mean that thing is strong. Get on up here, baby. Slab. Damn, I hope I don't. I hope he don't come off. Yes, sir. Look at there. I had him hooked in the barely in the side there. Look at that. What kind of jig was he using? Wire hook. Wire Look hook. That. Look at that. Look at that right there. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Slabbers. Slabbers. That's too long. They're gonna come after you. Look in there and get him. Find your jig. Right, there's your jig coming down. That's good when the jig's coming down the screen. Yeah. And the fish is in the screen too. Yeah, yeah. that's right. That's when you know you're right on them. Yep. Coming down on them right now. Okay, he got one coming. Got him coming. That's, that, big, that's that big one, I got. Oh, yeah, that's that good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let you land 
special ever. I don't know. If any, I don't think he's that big. Yeah, he's a nice one, man. Yeah. Got those water hooks. Wow. <laughs> we got up in the limb. Hey, we over. got that big one. We got that big one out of there. Yeah. Daddy say you ain't getting home. Well, you ain't catching crappie. Yeah, look at here. I can keep showing that jig. I can. But uh. We're gonna listen one day, one. We'll, we'll, we'll show them the live well here in a minute and see what we'll come up with. <laughs> Run back here and I'll turn that water off while you up. I got the boot. Turn the water off? Yeah. At least it should still be on. I'm sitting here holding on to the limb. Yeah, we're the only ones out here fishing. The only boat on the whole river today, boat. Wind 20 mile an hour out of the east. There's only a couple of bugs left. Yeah, I went down and got that big one. You know what I'm talking about? That's mm -hmm. one I want. Y'all uh, always heard fish about the least out of the east. Y'all just stay home. <laughs> <laughs> fish, uh, winds 20 mile an hour out of the southeast east. Uh, going up to higher than that tonight. It's been white capping all day. Actually, we didn't get over here. I, I tied three, three o'clock or something. Three thirty. Yeah, three twenty. I remember now when I was coming down the boat ramp. We got here at three twenty. It is six twenty now, so we fished three hours, and uh, this fish is biting. No field catching crappie on jigs today. That's all the bait we got in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have no do something. I'm gonna do something to catch a crappie. See you, jig. No, I know about where it's at. I seen it pull up to a limb. Just got it. Jigs right here. Yeah, I saw it. You know, one thing, since we put these wire hooks on there, uh, we hadn't lost a jig. Nope. Just, just pull it loose. He's right there. Right see it. Yeah, pull it loose. You have to bend your hook back a little bit, but didn't even bend. It come up. Oh, it didn't bend. What you going for? Them uh, one, right one, one. Uh, them two or three that's right there. Yeah, I'm ready to get out of here. Well, let's pull up here to the other spot. Okay, you gotta let go. <laughs> I've had the motor on. I'm holding the hook. I'm trying to get out of here. Put you in the Yeah, so I, so I just let you talk right there. Look, there was something over here the other day. Let's eyeball it and see what's over. Yeah. But you're gonna see some fish right up here. Though. There's always a couple of fish right here.